Welcome to another episode of Three Speech. I'm joined as ever by the Beijing sensation, Dipset Bird Gang, Mr. Hate Speech himself, Zip Zap. I'm the mad lad of Jihad. And behind the camera, we got the Gorilla Vanilla. <laughs> The thriller in vanilla. The, 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 <laughs> the envelope but Manila. Uh, the bit killer. The bit killer. <laughs> <laughs> well, so this has been listen, this has been a big week. Lots of big week. Big week. Lots have been happening. Yeah. Um Tr- Tr- Trudeau is hiding. Or he's got corona. Uh, there's been trucker convoy. Joe Rogan has gone face to face with Neil Young, saw him off, and now Neil Young's music, that fantastic music that we all love and listen to, has been pulled. We should uh, talk about that, man. That story first, because that's man, because other t- artists have piled in. So they said that even though he left and Johnny Mitchell left, they did say that Spotify's stock price plummeted. That was a I don't know. Oh, that's a lie. Oh, is bullshit. that just like, is that stock man, price goes I, up and down all the time. Every single stock is, it? is down. And they went, ah, oh, look, stock price has fallen by 4 billion. And they took the stock price, get the pictures, put this month's stock price up for, for Spotify. <laughs> They've done a month's timeline, Point out to me oh, where Darius but, acts but, like but, he's, he's yeah. James Bond in the Q intelligence unit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know about it. Show everything. me one month. <laughs> show, <laughs> show Darius the stock market. Show right, me the stock, the stock marketization. Yeah, show me the stock Show me the stock marketization for one month. A uh, one uh, month, not uh, six months. That's yeah. Six so months. see, there's a long term trend. Yeah, no. Show me for why one. So this is point out to me where he got the thing. Where did where did Neil leave? Yeah, where did at which point did Neil leave? I don't know. It, exactly. So uh, it made no difference. Is that, Sp- is that Spotify? That's yeah, like Spotify. no, but that's not the actual proper listing for yeah, Spotify. Yeah, Spotify. Spotify. I did not. Spotify. I just typed in Spotify. That is Spotify. Is that's Spotify. the listing. Spotify. Yeah, that's Spotify. Spotify. No, that's Spotify SA, South Africa. There's Spotify. How many Spotify's do you think there is? Anyway, the point is no, that the right, you find things. you find the Spotify. I'm I know what I'm talking about. So this is what it is. Oh no, that the is whole it. market. <laughs> I told you. So when did Neil? Man, it, what's the date? Neil, okay, but I'm going to. Can you just left. let me speak? Go ahead. The whole market in general. If you recall, last week I was telling you all up. Yes, has, had plummeted. It has been crashing. Everything's crashing. But so it they crash pull- more. But no, you know, it didn't make you know what caused it? It wasn't Neil Young. Darius found this APK file for your Android phone that lets you enjoy Spotify for free. That's right. And if you sign up to our locals, we're going to give you that APK file. Yeah. Completely void of it. It's like LimeWire. For yeah, we, we, I've got a new give free you Spotify viruses. with everything. It's great. But anyway, the whole trend of the whole market is going down. Well, and they went, and they've Spotify. taken a long term view of a month and went, oh, look. Neil Young caused this four billion. It's just it's so disingenuous. No one, in his the fact that you can't point out means there's nothing. Joe Rogan uh, pledges to try harder after Neil Young Spotify route. What? what why is he, Why is he giving an apology like he's Ellen, know, Ellen like, DeGeneres? To be honest, he could be try harder to get rid of more fucking pointless what, artists on Spotify. Well, did you watch? Did you see his apology? No. Was, did you it, see it his apology? Good, he didn't actually apologize. Apologize. Uh, Yeah, he didn't apologize. I watched he just, it. Uh, he will get more. Um, Balance. perspective, yeah, m- more sounds like GB from, news. Yeah. The thing is, I think, well, I don't know. The, the problem is, the left don't want balance or perspective or no. the woke, rather. So, even though they, he was quite pers- this is the mad thing. So, like Neil Young, Joni Mitchell, they're from the 60s, remember the hippies, you know, all that sort of countercultural revolution came through, and they're all about freedom and tolerance and rebelling against authority. And now they're all about conforming with authority and like only having one point of view and like silencing any voices that don't completely agree with you. It's mad how like those those 60s boomers have totally flipped and now it was the same that was that um metal rage, guy rage against the machine yeah yeah and, oh, that's and, bad. and and wasn't um who some black something black sabbath this one of them guys was like yeah he's pro vax or some shit who was one, one, of the, one of these um metal dudes i don't know uh, rage against the machine of pro vax yeah, yeah which yeah, is yeah. which is somebody which, else i mean yeah. so there's a funny meme going around it's like if you'd have told me that right said fred would be the <laughs> would be the outcast and rage against the machine would be the conformist it would be it'd be mad it'd be mental yeah is it is it morrissey as well anti-vax probably yeah uh, I, I think they was, hate morrissey everyone now. hates morrissey yeah. apparently i yeah. don't know I, j- some- I just think his music and his politics keep getting better and better. <laughs> <laughs> I think his music's rubbish. Is he on Spotify? Is Morrissey on Spotify? Probably. I don't Maybe. Know. Anyway, yeah. do anyone know any Neil Young songs? I've been searching for a heart of gold. <laughs> yeah. I gotta be honest, man. It's not a great loss. I don't, he, he just he, he was lucky. There weren't many other 
music people at that time. Just boring country music. Man, I, they've I, all I said... I can't say not any songs from New York. All of this comes down to, the reality is... Joe Rogan has built up an empire where he gets... And they're jealous. No, it's not. It's not. They are jealous. They're not. They're not jealous. They are jealous. They want to silence a new target. They. It's they. It's not jealousy. Jealousy is our. He's shit. This is jealousy. Oh, he's got. Let me say, and then you can say. Jealousy is our. He's got something big, and I want it, and he's shit. That's not what's going on here. He's built up an audience of every episode, eleven million followers, which dwarfs all other mainstream media output. All other. So the point that. Don't you think that they would wish they had someone on their side with a podcast that could reach as many millions as Joe Rogan? No, 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 but this they is, wish this they could have oh, well, someone okay. who held the line let, and who was walk. All right, can I? All right, their, let, their me, let me. Let me. I will. I will. I shall retort. I don't <laughs> think that the woke, in my experience, watching on, they don't want someone. They would, of course, they'd love someone to have a kid. But what they actually want to do is if they, is, yeah, about. if they never create, they just take down. Oh, so man. they can't. But if what 100%. they, the walk never create, still, they just destroy. But yeah, Joe but Rogan's still, too big. Even if they got, so what? Go off Spotify. Hey, just go on another platform yeah. and bring them. Everyone will just go. Well, we'll watch there. Yeah, it makes no difference. He gets more more viewers than like CNN and all these other media outlets put together. Oh, yeah, he great. dwarfs them. And CNN are putting out misinformation because he's a dwarf. Is, is he? he? Yeah, he's five foot eight. Is he? Yeah. That's not that small. Wow. But um, but uh, it's coming from someone who's yeah, six CNN, foot six. CNN put out uh, <laughs> <laughs> CNN put out that thing. That's the other thing, man. If you're are if you you're, six foot six? Yeah, just about. Yeah. What? Just about. He, so he, six well, foot he's four. actually I'm, six I'm, foot five, but he suffers from mild yet debilitating well, kyphosis. Six, I've got mild yet debilitating kyphosis. Oh, can I just tell the story? <laughs> Leo and I, <laughs> Leo and I did a rap battle once, right? Oh uh, my god! I, obviously, I won, right? <laughs> oh man, I would—I totally fucking hunt you up until I the last. I bit. destroyed him, right? And then, like, oh, <laughs> oh, I totally—I was totally destroying you. Then the last, my last verse, people were like, "Oh, that's misogynist." I'm like, it's a fucking rap battle. But, but the, I can't remember. I had one line about about Leo's kyphosis, and anyway, I won. After the show, some guy who looked like a question mark came up to me. And he was oh like, yeah, man, he's all like, <laughs> "I'm offended." I was like, "Listen." I didn't know that you would be at the rap battle. At the rap battle. I still would have done a joke. His spine was like one of those curly I felt, drinking I, I straws. Felt, I felt bad for him. But, it but was now your a... back is fucked. No, my back you was fucked. But to be honest, my back, back was... Huh? You, you do like this. You put your arms up against a wall. Yeah. And then lift your arms straight up. What does that your do? Ten, your tendency is going to... Your belly's going to arch out. Right, yeah. A bit flat against, against the, wall, the wall. And it straightens you Straightens up. your back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Also, so you should have told that to the guy outside uh, the, the gig. Oh. I crunched my back. At, well, he had, he had, there was more than kyphosis. His was yeah, like going in all directions. You know what I mean? It was a three dimensional problem. It, 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 his back looked like a kid who was trying to draw inside the lines. Yeah, it's mm. Spirograph. Yeah, failed. <laughs> it's not yeah. funny, though. Yeah. I mean, it is funny, I but mean, it's, it's disabled. It's, so. it's, yeah, yeah. But sometimes that's funny. We but got- it was funny, like the one, the one time you mentioned Kyphosis, and there's a guy in the audience who's like, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what's, that, what, what's the fucking chance? Um, who was it? It's not like it's my part of my set. Let me yeah. do like <laughs> Kyphosis jokes. I, I, I'm not gonna call any names, but a comedian goes on stage, right, and he's doing a bit about. Um, what if you didn't have legs? That'd be horrible, wouldn't it? Right? <laughs> and there's a guy in the back of the gig with no legs. <laughs> <laughs> no standing ovation. <laughs> and he, he's going on for three, four minutes wondering why this bit isn't working. <laughs> Everyone has seen this guy in the room. Everybody's seen the guy come in. As a, as he was outside. Fuck you know. And for th- he's like, is this What's a top secret? You guys? <laughs> is that a top secret? Is that a top secret? How do you get down the stairs? No, it, the top room he's in the top room oh, fair it, was enough. Like a, it was in the top room oh man it was brilliant, <laughs> it was brilliant. He's a, they're sweating <laughs> <laughs> mine there's that guy with a uh, massive finger at that gig uh, I, I love a, a horrendous faux pas in my, <laughs> in my comedy journey what he had a massive finger i did it i thought he had a so some guy at the gig in the front <laughs> row had a massive dildo looking finger i thought he just banged his finger right what it grew it grown and doubled in I size was and new length at comedy oh what, i knew it fucking like basic biology it looked, how your fucking bones it can looked grow? to me like he just banged his finger a little bit i mean i wasn't like inspecting it from straight like let me show me your finger you I were made, 
I will, Dallas that's a, is like, show me your finger. Hold up, hold, hold, hold up, up your everyone. finger so everybody can see your weird long finger. <laughs> I love your impression of Darius. <laughs> show me your finger. I don't know why he speaks like this when Leo thinks he's doing Darius. <laughs> one, really. one time there was a girl at a gig, right? Finger. Uh, I had it, like in Barbados, you could get away with saying and almost anything, right? So I had just, I was fresh from yeah. Barbados and I didn't know how polite you guys were. And there was a girl in the front row. And uh, she was a bit chubby. I was like, what do you do for a living? She goes, I work at Sainsbury's. I said, what do you do at Sainsbury's? I don't know, eat the cakes. <laughs> <laughs> and I, in my brain, nothing at all registered that, that was wrong. Like, nothing. Like, you would get away with that in Barbados. Really? And, yeah. Don't you still in Barbados. go, man. Turns out it was sh- her birthday as well. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so she did eat the cake. And, and then they chased me out the venue. No <laughs> way. Yeah, three, her and three of her friends. What? What, like, you ruined her night. You ruined uh, her night. What venue was that? The Inkies? That, that, nah, that was back in the day when there used to be a gig in Walkabout. Right, I remember walkabout, that. Which one? Like, remember Temple, that, yeah. Temple Walkabout. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. That was I for was, um, Lewis Bryant. That guy yeah, Lewis yeah. used to book. That was yeah. quite a good gig, actually. Yeah. yeah. Fuck, yeah. You know, I'm, I did not think. There, there was no. In Barbados, there's no fat shaming, even to this day. But right. if you said that to you a just, fat person, what they take that as a joke or they will laugh it off. Yeah, uh, you're not sensitive. They, they, they don't like have a woman would woke, laugh that off. As they well. don't have that walk thing. Yeah, during the Caribbean. Not fucking babies. Yeah, 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 it's crazy. Yeah, it is a little bit mean. I ruined a woman's wedding once. <laughs> How did you do that? I was By getting married to her. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, come on, give him hey, the horn. Oh. Give him the horn. Yeah, that's the horn, that's baby. A good one. That's a good one, Leo. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but funny enough, Elsa came to this. I went. We did. I did Jonglers, um, Leeds or Nottingham, like a really rough mm. Jonglers in like some. Uh, Disco, in the disco. As opposed like to millionaire. those really nice posts. No, but jungles. it was like one of the, you know, when they just given up. Portsmouth got to be the worst. Yeah, it was something like that. Portsmouth and this whole Hindu was there on the side. And I was just like, sometimes I could deal with it and I get away with a binge and I just went too harsh on this. <laughs> what, you? <laughs> yeah. Going too harsh? I, it was re- it was funny, <laughs> but <Nah>. I just... <laughs> but I was like, man, that was so cruel. I was, <laughs> What'd you say? I just went I just went to town. She wouldn't shut up, so I just had to... I can't... I just, That's what you did at Vauxhall as well. Yeah. No, I was worse than Vauxhall. Right, right. No, Vauxhall wasn't even bad. I just said, yeah, listen, yeah. everyone, you're just being annoying. But her, I was like, man, I can't believe you found someone who would marry you. Like, where... <laughs> I, just, I was it's, just... Isn't um, Ken Brown's famous clip? Have you ever seen that? Right. Oh! Oh, yeah. Dirty bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I'm talking about her pussy and all kind of things. <laughs> can we pull that up? Yeah, yeah, I'm on it. Let's pull that up. Oh, that was funny. So it was right. actually it was Kane, like that. I, Kane totally gets away with, like, you know, Kane, saying yeah, Kane Kane the, just monster, the amount of charm. Yeah, the amount of, like. Ken is a monster. Jeez. Actually, I didn't ruin the gig. Everyone was like, yeah, they loved it. <laughs> well, I actually did it right, but then after. People are yeah. a bit mean. Some of those junglers, though, man, because people didn't really know. They're not there for comedy. No. And they don't really know what's going yeah, on and yeah, stuff. Yeah. So they're talking and having a good time. And then you sort of come along and ruin their night doing comedy at them. Yeah. Remember um, the Thistle Hotel back when we started? Oh, man. There was a really fit girl there. And what? she was kind of like into me. And I told her that she had really small hands. And she started crying. <laughs> what? Why? Because <laughs> she had a thing about her hands. Her hands, I, I just, oh, like her hands were like, Kind of like really small. Why are they really small? And yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I right, just kind of mentioned thing, isn't and it? started crying. Well, it depends how small they are. It's good know. for a woman. Tiny little fucking action man hands. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it wasn't like her arms were short. It was just she had. Really Mooch, are you hands. finding the clip or are you on your phone? I'm finding the clip, but I don't know. It like it. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh. She spazzed out, man. You, so you, you ruined it by saying, "Yeah, yeah. we got to be careful." You ruined Sorry. it by. Hey, Mooch, can you play the clips on this screen? No, not yet. Isn't right. it better on Why? that screen sort of pointing towards the camera? Oh, yeah, maybe it's better on that screen. Yeah. Why is it, when I do that now? There we go. This Oh, this is funny, this one. How many views has it got? Uh, 150. I mean, have a word, I've got a lot to do with this as well. <laughs> this guy has... <laughs> 12 o'clock and everyone's got... <laughs> <laughs> Did she just say shut up? Did you tell me to shut up? <laughs> Did it... Oh. <laughs> Have you never seen me before? <laughs> <laughs> so how you sitting there saying shut up and you got your pussy lip hanging out flipping? <laughs> no chat to me. I can see fumes coming off your pum pum look like a petrol station. Shut up. <laughs> shut your mouth. Shut up. <laughs> 
Fuck around with me. Shut your mouth. Come up on stage. Shut up. Put piercing in your lip. What the fuck's wrong with you? You look like a colander. Fuck off. Mess around with me. Bridget, who wants to open their mouth again? Open up. Kill us a mad man. Lost a gun man there in your blood clot. Sure. But shit, I didn't even say nothing, you know. I said, shut up. <laughs> that bitch is single. <laughs> single, sitting at home with a vibe. <laughs> <laughs> I want a man. <laughs> yeah, fucking bitch. She done that to the worst <laughs> person yeah. ever to do it to. Yeah. <laughs> that was brilliant. Ja! <laughs> Upset me, nasty bitch. She's a <laughs> 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 and take antibiotics at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> take antibiotics, bitch. She, bitch. She's <laughs> Upset me, nasty bitch. She's the kind of girl you got to sleep with her and take antibiotics at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, no. That's funny. The, the oh, thing, the thing is, Kane is one of the nicest guys. He's oh, the yeah. nicest guy, <laughs> and he's one of the fun. He's, he's impossible to fight. He's, he's I would, a monster. He's, he's yeah. one of the funniest. I've never comedians. seen him do anything except I've never seen him ever not kill. No, I've oh, always <laughs> killed. <laughs> <laughs> I like I the way they were like shut up. Like what, what, what are you there for? Oh man, that was Jongler's Camden, wasn't shut it? Shut up. Like? <laughs> was that Jongler's Camden? Yeah, Jongler's Camden. With the couch. But he didn't have a couch on stage. Yeah, man, that, was, him that was an urban gig, so they thought, yeah, you know what we'll do to make this a better, more realistic gig? Put a couch on the stage. That's, that's what it needs. Yeah, imagine him doing that uh, um, Snow Leopard comedy or whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Snow Leopard. Uh, Quantum Leopard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> did they, did, the thing is, did they, the they'd, be, they'd be so scared about looking racist, yeah, they'd probably try and yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You know, be like, yes, and this is good. Intellectualize yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is, uh, just for the listeners, Quantum Leopard is a very, very progressive, wokey sort of comedy mm. show where they make uh, people who don't want to be talked to wear yellow stars. Yeah, something like that. And yeah. they Quantum Leopard. Place. So there was a document. BB. So Quantum yeah. Leopard One is run by a game called a guy called James James Ross, and he asked, he begged Leo and I to do Hate and Live. <laughs> begged us, begged us, and then, and then and we said, oh, we. I said, okay, well, you come on the show. And it's Edinburgh Festival, so it's comedians every minute, right? Anyway, the, the day he's meant to perform on the show, he messaged me, he said, Darius, I'm not, I'm not going to do this show, I'm pulling out. I was like, fine, I don't care. Then he sends me a big reason why, and he goes, I heard that you said such and such to the audience, and this happened. And we were like, what? That never happened, but you know what? Fuck off, you dickhead. And he was like, well, I'm going to bring Leo in, because Leo's obviously the sensible one. Yeah. And, then, and Leo's like, yeah, piss off, you circus skills tramp. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, go fuck yourself, you fucking stinky little cunt. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you but, fucking... Ladies and gentlemen, the doors are now open. That, but but oh, this, man, is, this, is, this is the difference between woke like people who are woke they're so vindictive because for me that was the end of it for yeah. you that was the end of it okay whatever don't care but he started booking like go off applying for gigs and at the end of his email signature he'd always put I will not gig with Darius Davies or Leo Curse like and as if he was at our level yeah anyway you know what I mean but it's just it, but, but, but it's such a snide way to do it because yeah. what happens is people read that well, ooh, why what's Leo and Darius done why won't you gig with so some, some, someone who emails why won't he, James Ross gig with you man I'm like what like a year later yeah. he, so he'd done it for a have, whole year have you seen the email that he sent to so uh, Alassi uh, emailed him for a, asking for a spot and sent a clip of a video and stuff um, and he you know just nicely asking for a spot and he sent this big long critique real like you know just sort of um up in his up in his high horse, like telling her why she's shit and she's not good enough for the gig and stuff her horse, real his horse made of noodles <laughs> I don't understand yeah, that. Yeah, I don't understand he, that. He does very surreal stuff. Oh, right. Uh, I, Jammy I, Badges. I, I, I yeah. did an improv course with him. But he's, well, he's like, he was, so, he was so mean to the lassie. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so he runs a gig called Quantum Leopard, which is like, the you couldn't like... Yeah. And you can't talk to the audience. And he apparently... And before the show, it, there's, so there's a funny documentary online, the Count Dankula one. His gig's in it. And comedy unleashed in it. If you want uh, backstage, you see so comedy like, unleashed is supposed to be you know, this evil. A, you know, the so, people call it right wing and all the rest of it. 
And Quantum Leap, we're all super left wing, vote for Corbyn and everything's nice and blah, blah, blah. But then it cuts to pictures of the audience and Comedy Unleashed, the racist gig is like just a diverse audience just all cracking up and laughing. Then it cuts to Quantum Leopard audience, it's just all white people. (laughs) It's just so, it's just, but it's it's only white people who put themselves through that suffering. Yeah, (laughs) but he's a, but Joe Jacobs is in that documentary and he's the only funny. It's fucking hilarious. So basically... Uh, I'll try and bring it up, but he's uh, the guy who runs it is running through all the stuff you can't talk about. Yeah, yeah, bring it up, James I'm Ross. Tr- yeah, I'm trying to find it. It's on. Um, uh, is it a BBC oh. documentary? What well, was it called? Why are we talking about that? Well, again? we wait. Well, we uh, you brought up Snow Leopard. As wait, I imagine what? doing it. Think. While we wait to uh, find that, um, I'll find where is it the the thing. Uh, so, like, basically, what's the thing? <laughs> no, I found so, it. I found it. So, my friend, on BBC my anymore. friend's in a band, and they're going to go and play like heavy metal band, death metal. Mm. They're going to go play this uh, this club in Glasgow, and so he got sent through this like sort of agreement form. You know, this is the rules of the club, and it's all coronavirus. It's all like you got to stay this far away from like you know you can't touch your dick with your left hand and all the rest, all the standard sort of stuff. Wear a face mask, all that. But loads and loads and loads of it. And it's like fair enough. Well, they're taking this very seriously, but mm-hmm. I guess they got to make sure they don't lose their health and safety license or whatever and then like bear in mind this is like for heavy metal heavy metal bands death, not even heavy death death, death metal death metal it says finally we strongly believe that face coverings and vaccinations are the fastest way to get out of the current situation we will not tolerate any anti-mask or anti-vax rhetoric made by pr- performers or their promoters any such events are liable to be cancelled in advance or performance is cut if during the show they'll literally like storm on stage and pull people are if they like say anything like you know and if they say anything anti-mass but like bear in mind it's, it's heavy metal so they'll be like worshipping Satan <laughs> hail if anybody, Satan in if a anybody mask. stops to say oh, drinking goat's blood yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like biting the yeah. head off a bat and stuff yeah. but then oh no don't say anything about masks I don't know it's so weird yeah, it's so crazy. weird that all this stuff's suffused through and like all these places used to be for rebellion against authority are now like really conforming with authority. Uh, only the Rasta man is left standing. <laughs> only the Rasta. I'm going to convert what's the Rasta. Corona fire. restrictions. I mean, this is obviously another unmonetized podcast. What is <laughs> what is Corona restrictions like in Barbados? Oh, it's strict. Oh, are they strict. Did they take yeah, how serious? Strict, man, they put a they put a tag on you and shit. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you mean? Very, very strict. I thought you said the Rasta you, man was the only one standing. Yeah, but all people in Barbados aren't Rasta. <laughs> the Rastas don't believe in vaccine and injecting stuff like that. Uh, when so I was in, there are technically they should be exempt, but I don't know if they still are. But they should be on religious grounds as well. And is but, it um, mandated? They're very, very strict, man. Um, if you go in and you test positive or what, what not, you got quarantine. They put a tag on you. To make sure that you're quarantined. But is it mandated to have the vaccine? No, it's not mandated, but I they eventually probably want to get there. Well, but, let um, me let, let me segue seamlessly then. I've got the bit, pod thing. Hang on, but oh. I found a video of, of Joe Jacobs. Oh, right, let's first oh, say, say, watch that. I was going to say the you were talking about the heavy metal stuff, but there was a and you can't mention anything anti-vax or anything you know slightly. What if you've anti-vax. got a song about anti-vax? But there before. was a coach who mentioned that his goalkeeper's heart problems might be vaccine related mm. and he got fired recently no i didn't get fired yeah he got fired that was i, I know ma- the story i know no it's, it was in the um he said i read he, it he said oh the goal it might and then he went oh, actually it might be the uh might be due to the t- t- covid yeah. he was a championship manager yeah 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 but he said myocarditis yeah. initially he implied that it might be vaccine induced myocarditis yeah and yeah he, they got rid of him because there's been a lot of but what were the results like for the team could they blame it on the team or they blamed it on that it was 3-0 <laughs> well, I don't know let's google that yeah. uh, do you want to watch this video oh yeah let's yeah. watch this video a lovely night <laughs> <laughs> just pause it a sec <laughs> Yeah. Oh man! Just let it. Oh, sorry. I was gonna. I was gonna allege that he was a paedophile, but I'm not gonna do that now. <laughs> I think his face Lefty, is doing it. No kicking Boom. down. Lovely fluffy Saturday night out. At no kicking down. Oh, unless you're a Brexit voter or something like that, then they're happy to kick you. With like, pull, pull it, t- we can take it all, back. I want to hear the beginning of the speech. I want to hear the beginning of the speech. We're definitely within fire safety capacity. Okay. <laughs> Give me a chip. No good reason. 
Oh, guy yeah. yawning. So, uh, <laughs> Leopard is a lovely night. Um, it's it all is uh, an award-winning, uh, kind of lefty, no-kicking-down, lovely, fluffy Saturday night out uh, at the Comedy in London. Uh, a list of quick things to run through. Uh, firstly, like, uh, like I realise it's only five minutes set. Technically, it's a paid gig. Um, I have a fiver for all of you. Ooh. It what? Yeah. <laughs> Five pounds. Don't listen to Mooch. Keep your prices you are where they are. It's like crowd work, audience interaction, etc. Um, please only do it with people who are in the front row and who are wearing a green sticker. If they're wearing a green <laughs> sticker, it means they have actively consented to being talked to. Um, if they're not wearing a green sticker, it means they have not. Cool. Please, even if they are wearing a green sticker, don't be a dick to them because if they are, I will have to find you and I'll peel you open. Content policy, uh, uh, please, uh, no racism, sexism, homophobia, transphobia, no chav no ableism, no whorephobia, and uh, no picking on the audience, no... Uh, did, did he say no whorephobia? Whorephobia, yeah. Whorephobia! <laughs> was was Whore. whorephobia? Scared, Scared of whores. whores. <laughs> whores? Yeah. Yeah. Whores? Yeah. They could give you syphilis. Who's afraid of whores? Yeah. No one. I don't know. I've got I guess, I guess the opposite of phobia. People say negative yeah, things yeah, about whores. I think it's kind of slut shaming or something like that. Yeah, yeah. or uh, mu slut, oh. slut for money shaming. <laughs> Is he on the phone again? Nico, you can't be on the phone during the podcast. It's yeah. incredibly unprofessional. Are you running like a business or something during the podcast? Uh, he's got the, the, the headphone as an eye patch. All right, should we like... Yeah, let's... Watch Cut the that rest bit. of this. Yeah. The punchline. Um, rape is not a punchline, there's a line for which you should be punched. Um, any questions about uh, that? Then feel free to ask me. Um, the answer is yeah, that's probably fine. Thoughts? Theories? Anyone? All good? You can discuss race, right? Say again? Yeah, yeah, totally fine. <laughs> like the, the dividing line is like, um, this is that. Say again? Yeah, that's it. Like, that's basically it. Like, you, it's just, you know, treat the material with respect. You know what I mean? Like, your experiences of, I'm guessing. See, that is, yeah. play that again. That is genuinely funny. <laughs> that's a that's genuinely it. funny <laughs> thing <laughs> happened at I, Quantum I Leopard. It. I missed it. Oh, because well, you're on the phone. Get off your phone, Nico. I, I told you to turn it Who's off on your phone? Who's phoning you? It's we can't discuss family. Okay. All right, well, we'll still turn it off. Tell you. that you're busy. Like, you, it's just, you know, you treat the material with respect. You know what I mean? Like, you're now rewind it so you can hear. You missed the... And uh, no picking on the audience, no... Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's it. Um, any questions about any particular material, then feel free to ask me. Um, the answer is, yeah, that's probably fine. Thoughts? Theories? Anyone? All good? You can discuss race, right? Say again? <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally fine. Like, the, the dividing line is like, um... Just, uh, Say again? Yeah, that's it. Like, that's basically it. Like, you, it's just, you know, treat the material with respect. You know what I mean? Like, your experiences of, I'm guessing, anti Semitism, totally fine. Your experiences of being a proud black man, mm, less so. You know what I mean? Like, that's kind of where we are. So, does uh, he make sense? Yeah, you just told Joe. It's just, it's just <laughs> I like Joe's yeah. shit. Th this bit of the end, like he, uh, the, the look at that. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Quantum <laughs> left the diversity in that audience. Oh right. god, you can Thank smell you. the guardian. Yeah, yeah. The balance booking policies. What's the reason for the content policy? It's about making it a fluffy and inclusive night. Because like, if you're going into a th uh, thing and you're a woman, like loads of really tedious, misogynistic nonsense, oh. like that's going to put you off. Um, Why do they all have some fluffy and dog fetish? Kind of, like, all of this sort of thing. Like, it's, it's also it's just it's lazy. Now fluffy. It picks lazy victims. Victims and it's not interesting. Like we've all seen it. That's I, been done. I'd do a bit on you, James. So how come if James is such an expert on what's funny and what's not, how come other people are much funnier than him and he's not very funny? Because he's not very funny. <laughs> <laughs> You're telling me this man, right here. There we go. That is. That is. This is a symptom. Yeah, pause it. Uh, so it's all, the, and then just fast forward to if you can find a clip of the backyard audience. But it's, I mean, it's also all white as well. But <laughs> <laughs> no, it's more, it's, it's more, more diverse than that. I think it was before. Oh, yeah. Oh, Will Franken, remember him? He was good yeah. and then he went crazy. What did Will do? He went off on one. He's so, uh, Is that oh, there's, there's my, I saw him at the train station the other day, Marcus. Uh, it's Scott Kapoor. I've touched him. <laughs> I, I like Scott. He's, I did headliners with him twice last uh, week. Uh, is this the backyard one? Who thinks there's a backyard? Mm. Yeah, look, look at diverse it. Well, Genuinely nice. diverse. Is that backyard? They're just, they're just a bit more out of focus. Yeah, out of no, there's a, there's a, the there's a show. That's, focus that's, people. But the there's a, there's the lighting a, is bad. There's a shot with the whole backyard audience where they're from the stage and you can see it properly. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Constantine when he was gigging. Well, there, there's Leo's gig. Ha <laughs> 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 ha. Not very funny, actually. Oh, I'm sorry.
Count Dankula. Uh, I guess I guess it's kind of boring no. to watch. Yeah, that's kind of it. Anyway, uh, yeah, if you watch that's that's that documentary, it's, it's it's on there. It's about the Nazi plug. Uh, Pog, and it's pug. not the <laughs> plug. <laughs> Two pin plug. <laughs> the German standard five pin plug. Uh, it's, My new it's, joke. On a, it's on a YouTube channel called Computing Etc. Because the uh, BBC have taken it off. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, I for some reason. Off. I'm not sure. That's maybe, Joe's have to, maybe you have to do the. <laughs> maybe it's because you have to do the. What's the BBC app that you have to pay for now? I don't what know. What is the BBC app? It's for BBC for? stuff. Yeah, all yeah. the BBC... I thought uh, that was called the TV licence, which I also don't pay for. Also, you, don't, you don't have to pay your TV licence anymore. Oh, this is so... Uh, we can... As a special gift for our uh, for our, our audience. We can save you £160 a year. Don't pay your TV licence. <laughs> you don't have to. Anymore. Tune in for more tips like this. <laughs> top, top Every tip. episode. <laughs> yeah. And use that Spotify APK file if you've got an Android phone. Also, if you're a fan of Nico and you thought you were going to start putting toilet paper down on the seat because well, that will that's hygienic, it turns out it's deeply unhygienic and it's the worst. That's not true, though. It is. That you've makes, got, makes you've no got a German-fested ass. Yeah, ah, oh, disgusting. No uh, we sent you the, the thing. People have think been Think about sent- it. Think about it. If, if the spray goes out, right, the spray is going to be on the outer edge of the roll, right? It can penetrate. It's not going to penetrate. Penetrate. Oh, you, wait, part- how, how, those how, particles can't get through. Listen, the yeah, are you a science inside? denier now? No, no. Oh, once, yeah. once <laughs> you, Stop denying once science. Once you tear off that top, uh, this top Now it all makes sense. It's anti-vaccine. This is science, <laughs> Nico. This, this is science. science. Not science. There's no the science. Germ- the germ follow the science. Nasty bitch. It's, yeah, <laughs> it's not going to penetrate the, the loo roll. Those, the germs those fall particles. off the seat. So basically, it was a, a science report that somebody found. I don't know what, how we found it. Someone, well, somebody, someone, somebody, somebody sent, sent it. it to us. Somebody, it's in well, what? Yeah, thanks for sending it, whoever, whoever sent Jason it. Jason Laywood. Jason, Jason Laywood. Yeah. Great, great guy. Yeah, Does he, some very funny is comments. That, is that on my another Darius just made up thing? No, no, no. no, no. It's in the, in, in, the, in, the, in the document. The, the, the link to the toilet. That makes no sense. He does funny comments. Anybody who believes that as a clone. But but let's just see no what he said. he said. Why are you so slow with the comments? He said, he said... He said there's a science, a science report that says uh, that actually wiping the, the toilet seat or putting toilet paper down is, uh, well, maybe not wiping the toilet, but putting toilet paper down is less hygienic because toilet seats are made out of a material that germs find it very di- difficult. Uh, plastic. If a piss is on a seat, the piss is on the seat. Yeah. But then, not, like, yeah, but you lick the not, piss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bring piss, up the article, Mooch. Yeah, you take your, it's the in the document. You take a sock off and yeah, use it's in it to the mop up the piss. Under the thing that says toilet. Come on, Mooch, you go back to the It's not in the It's at the bottom. I can see it. Scroll that. I Victoria swear to God. never is this much Trans- trouble. Oh, yeah, you found it. Mooch's going back to episode one tactics. <laughs> 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 Listen, so, yeah. people have got in touch with us to tell... to Spe- tell. We need your consent. So, dude, no, that's Nico. That's a photo of Nico's toilet in his own house because he doesn't <laughs> trust his family. And, and Nico uses pink toilet paper. Uh, yeah. Yeah. This uh, is why you should never put paper. toilet paper down on the toilet seat before you sit. Covering this the seat in loo rolls is not the best way to stop the spread of germs. It Covering is. Covering a public Science. toilet seat in paper might seem the best Science. way to stop... This is from the sun. What if the sun yeah, ever yeah, lied? Uh, uh, exactly. <laughs> they, they lied to <laughs> But they linked to... They've linked... They've linked to a resource. No, Give the re- read the reason they're saying. Well, why do we need to read the reason? I've read the headline. Read the reason they're saying, man. <laughs> the fact you're better off not putting anything down the seat at all, whether it be toilet paper or one of those yeah, handy so paper seat covers. Yeah, so just sit on the piss or shit. That's well because done, toilet son. seats are made from material to prevent bacteria from spreading in the first place. Their shape, their smooth surface, makes it extremely difficult for germs to latch onto them. In contrast, toilet paper has a rough texture and is designed to be absorbent, making it perfect material for bacteria to stick to and hang around. So and because many germs. In most public <laughs> toilets, it's right next to the loo. Every time you flush germs... Uh, flush germs fly into the air and can cling to the toilet roll. Yeah. In, how is in germs- conclusion, how- Nico is a dirty stopout. Daddy, daddy, bitch. <laughs> Nasty bitch. How is the germs penetrating the first line of the toilet roll? Because uh, germs. If I'm using the the, you roll off some. But they Let get me on the hold side. on. You roll some off. And you put Speak it into down. the mic so we can hear your life. You roll. Wait, is my mic on? I <laughs> yes. can't even hear my mic. I can hear, I can hear your mic. My mic on. Yeah. You can hear me. Spread your anti-science right. lies. Yeah. Look, you roll off some loo roll. This is going to get you, demonetized oh, by oh. Andrex. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you roll some off and you put that in the water to stop the water from. You put splash. it in the toilet water. You put some in the toilet water. Let me ask you a teenage girl from, from splashing up on your bum. All right. Then 
Secondly, then you start taking off some. So that first line that might have had some germs on it is in the bowl. But uh, the, is in the, okay, hold on. the side. Hold on, let the me side ask. Of the roll. Let me. Uh, what's the what's side? The, I'm uh, not sitting on the side. No, the side of the roll. Yeah, but I'm not sitting. Yeah, on but the they side. get in the side and they sit on the 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 tissue. I've got a question. It's I've absorbent. got a question. No. Are you? Hold on, let me ask. Like an onion. The Wait. roll. The roll is like this. Germs can only land on flat. <laughs> <rice>. <laughs> 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 germs, germs, germs can't stick like, like, like Wait there oh, Let God. me Let me if let anyone me. listens to this And then listens to Our, our vaccine policies yeah. like Hold it. on <laughs> can only land On like They can't come in At right angles Yeah exactly So are you saying Nico Let me just clarify You're yeah. saying Germs cannot penetrate Toilet paper Germs cannot get through that first. They, they will, can only penetrate uh, one, yeah, sheet. So, one so, sheet. Okay. One so, sheet. okay. Okay. So following and on I'm from using so fo- three plates. So, okay. Paper. So following oh, on from that. Replay. So you following. Like shut up, Mooch. Following on from that. <laughs> yes. Would you put down face masks on a toilet seat? <laughs> face masks on a toilet seat. I I e the face masks work. Mm-hmm. Can things penetrate them? Or are they are they nothing? Either Th- there's holes in the face mask. Well, there's holes in the toilet paper. Toilet paper's worse than the face mask. Your whole lie, no, toilet, your whole lie it, it, is crumbling. No, Either that, face mask work or toilet paper gets penetrated. Toilet paper is stronger than the face mask. <laughs> <laughs> you sit on a throne of lies. A fr- <laughs> no, <laughs> the toilet paper that I use is is is, is strong. You sit it's, on a throne so of lies with some toilet paper on it. So yeah, people no, should be wrapping toilet paper there's, around there's their li- heads. There's little holes in that in that in that them blue mass. All right, let's move on. Wait, wait. <laughs> I just want to say, Tyrone, Tyrone, a friend of ours, you know, Ty, he he went with some girl and she went for his phone on holiday and she found out he was cheating on him and she went, you're the prince of lies. <laughs> <laughs> she said that to him. Yeah, or, he called uh, him the prince of lies. While they were on holiday. But, and then she threw a bottle at him and then, then, then the security came and they thought he was beating her up even though she... But batted him. Said it was his worst holiday ever. <laughs> <laughs> Probably doesn't want it revealed on a podcast. But Where he was is it? Spain. Right. And apparently she was really fit, but she, uh, well. quote Tyrone, she had no tread, and we'll leave it at that. <laughs> oh, 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 what's that mean? I don't she know, had no tread. Just yeah, you know when your car's got no tread. Yeah, on the wheels. Oh, okay, slick. Okay, yeah. <laughs> what? Well, uh, you know what we've. But been you cons- know what the women will say. Yeah, he says that tiny cop. Yeah, that's the first. Uh, thing yeah, but if say. you're called Tyrone. I'm guessing you probably. But he don't. is white. Nah, he's a oh, white is he? Oh, yeah. fair enough. Yeah. But I, I think actually, it's, uh, him and his brother both got yeah, like, Tyrone tradition. and Junior. Yeah. <laughs> his sister, <laughs> and, his, and, his, and, his, and his sister Shaniqua. <laughs> <laughs> but Tyrone is actually an Irish name from County Tyrone. Oh, right. So that's why him. And nah, it's originally from Africa. <laughs> is it? Yeah. Tyrone. Is it? Yeah. But, I'm uh, it's a la- he's he's it's doing a, he's doing a Vladimir Gregory Pushkin on Gregor you. No, 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 no. It is. <laughs> look at. It? It's from the. It's um next to Kush. There was a area called Tyron. Uh, Google Tyron. Etymology. Etymology. That's oh, Irish. It. Told origin. you. I said Irish. What was it say? Is the name it Tyrone is primarily a male name of Irish origin. They're whitewashing. The, whitewashing. <laughs> the the, no, no, no. That's what they do. <laughs> From the land of Egan. Look up Egan. the father of chemistry. The father of chemistry is a Muslim man, but they got this white dude who they claim is the father of chemistry. Where it's did all he, whitewashing, man. What did he? What did the guy invent chemistry? Was it test tubes? The first or man. Vincent yeah, Berners. Uh, he's Al something. Al Jass something. I think and you'll find the father, that the father of chemistry uh, is Anton Lavoisier. Right. So this is yeah. this is whitewashing. You know. Put in, put in um, Arab father of chemistry. Okay. Well, yeah. But you know what? It... Like Hawaiian father of chemistry will get the Hawaiian one. No, no. But this guy is from way before this guy. He's the first man to. What did he do invent? Experiments and shit. Mooch, can Toilet I paper. ask that from next episode? <laughs> Jesus, on. there he is. Jabir Abu. He was the first Abu guy. Abu Muzam Jabir in Hawaii. He looks like Bin Laden. He looks like they've just got Bin Laden and done a. I just done a little graph of Bin Laden. Yeah. Um, he was the first guy doing look, he's experiments got toilet paper and shit like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's we, the we, one that posited that germs can't land on this side of the toilet <laughs> <paper>. <laughs> uh, I think one thing we need to, we need to talk about is... Uh, we should use DuckDuckGo as our browser. 
the original father of chemistry, but they like to whitewash him from the history. Actually, books. that is true. Iranians so, are much smarter than everyone and, else. And they said the same thing about. Well, you know, he's, that's he's, what they're doing with the Tyran thing. Ty- he, Tyran I'm, is a, a place in Africa. Go on, th- who's th- better th- at go. chemistry now? I, I made gunpowder once in a chemistry well, class. I'm totally not surprised. Very, very but I, on but I didn't I didn't <laughs> but I didn't know what I did. I just put loads of stuff in someone and the teacher's like, You've made gunpowder and I couldn't remember it's in the blood. I, yeah, it was, <laughs> yeah, it was yeah. like <laughs> just reverting to <laughs> natural <laughs> instincts. You can take the yeah. yeah. Um should we talk about this uh, Canadian trucker thing, which is kind yeah. of Yeah, Canadian hot convoy. Topic, yeah. Convoy. Are you are you familiar with this news story, Nico? Has it yeah, permeated got, got, your got, toilet paper in existence? I got fa- I got family in Canada. Yeah. Have you? Mm. And what what's your opinion on on the Canadian convoy? Yeah, I think it's great, man. Uh, I think it's, it's really great. weird, but I've just clicked on the, the link you've got in there from the working. independent. And it's not working. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow! Is it? Are we being silenced? Big tech strategy. Oh wait, I'm gonna. So I've got another. Piece. Here's the if thing. Because people saying it, it, the people on the left saying it's a, a a small fringe minority. How many people do you estimate were at that convoy thing? How much? What, what does it look like to you? I can't get pictures. Oh of man, it. how many huge. thousands? It's huge. Uh, Trudeau is Tr- Trudeau once again proving the efficacy of vaccines is double vaxxed, boosted, being s- following all the social distance guidance, and yet just somehow. Right now, during the convoy, he has contracted COVID. What yeah. a what a shame that is! I can't believe people are still acting like COVID's a thing. Like it's Omicron and it's gone. Nobody's like, I mean, people get it, but you just get a cold. Well, I, but, but but the whole the point that he currently has COVID now, and there and he's trying to mandate the vaccine. It's like yeah. you've had it, you've boosted, it, you've done everything, you've still got it. Yeah, so the yeah, vaccine's yeah. the passport's pointless. I was trying to stop the truckers like going down to. America. So American truckers get, um, they don't have to like do tests and quarantine I- either way. And like the, the Canadian ones do have to do have to come back up. But the thing, the thing that I think really pissed people off. So um, Trudeau came out and said the anti-vaxxers, these truckers are racists and misogynists. And it's like, yeah, they're, they're truckers. <laughs> first of all, first of all uh, I think it's really important to say that 85% of these truckers are vaxxed and they're not anti-vax the anti-vax they're, mandate they're just misogynist and racist <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so like uh, and it's it's not like it's easy to do this they're fucking driving across the country people are out and it's not like i think it's amazing look yeah. how cold that looks yeah and canada's real canada is not like playing around like england cold canada no. minus 20 yeah, yeah. And there's people out in the streets supporting no. this they pull raised up, five the they raised five million dollars uh, in a very short amount of time to uh, to, to pay fund, the fuel, yeah, yeah for for these truckers, which shows that you know, and it's it's not one big donor doing that. Huge That's amount lots of support. Lots of people supporting this. Very very little media coverage when it was happening. There it's is, still happening. Oh, is it still happening? It's still happening. Yeah. It's, they're not going to leave. Apparently, Elon Musk do- donated forty two thousand and sixty nine cents or something. <laughs> um, it's happening. The fact that it's rarely being mentioned. And there's no like real coverage. Just says like this is why people are so skeptical of and, what they're showing. And this is but why nobody's watching. Small, small, small. They're, they're saying it's small. But yeah, but nobody's nobody's protest. There's uh, thousands of people down there. Yeah, nobody's like watching mainstream media anymore. They're watching Joe Rogan and watching Twitter and Getter and all the other things. And places where you get actual th- what's happening. You know what I mean? Yeah. And this is, I think, Trudeau. He lost. He lost the nation when he came out and he said, oh, they're racist, they're misogynist. Everybody's like bored of being called racist and misogynist. You know what I mean? And Canadians just, are all really nice. You they're like nice it. people. If you're saying like, because they drive a truck and they, they don't like vaccine mandates, they're racist. That's a ridiculous thing to say. You know what I mean? Play, play this video I just posted in there. Because um, people are saying, oh, it's just a small little group. Let's have a look. That's thousands of people, no? Is this the, the iTimes thing? The one at the bottom. You know what it is. They don't like that people have started saying no, and it works. When like the NHS dropped the mandate, it's like no, we're not going to do it. Stop. Can't bully people into it. Anyone who's had the vaccine has had it now. You're not going. The rest, they're not going to get convinced. They've made their mind up. My friend, she works uh, for the NHS. Yeah, look at this. Small fringe minority. Wow. I should take the music. Oh yeah, turn that off because we'll get copyright. I was enjoying that music. 
Uh, turn it off, Mooch. We just have a little second. Okay. Wait, no, no. <laughs> how, how many people? That's, that's, that's thousands, no? That's it's, like the cue for my gig. Wow. <laughs> Well, to get out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they got in. They went in in the first place. <laughs> Three minutes in. <laughs> wow. That, that's got to be... No refunds. How many... That's got to be at least... Oh, man. At least seven. 20,000. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Way more than 20,000. Yeah. What, way Pete, but how many... But there's... But there's there, I don't know. It's all like... Look at that. That is a lot of people. That's a and lot it's of people. And like, it's not like this, the protest in summer, which yeah. is a nice... Little jolly day out. This is in the middle of winter yeah. in Canada on a Tuesday. Considering Ofcom had to investigate Billy Connolly because two people emailed in. Like, you know what I mean? For this what? is over, over a, a joke, joke that he said years ago. For what, a joke, yeah. Was this recently? Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, what was the joke? It was about uh, a dead cat. It oh, funny it's joke. a funny joke. Yeah. Say, yeah. say the joke. All right. Uh, so it's a, quite a long joke. Uh, do, you want to, do you want to hear it? Yeah. No, so this guy, this guy basically. I want to hear it. He's driving and he like runs over this cat runs out in front of him. He hits it's a true the cat. Story. Oh, hang on. He hits the cat. I don't know if it is a true story, but it it's is, a it funny is. joke. He, he talks about it. Yeah, it's... but I see stuff in my set that's a true story, and it's not a true story. Like Leo did I've not have a pig Coventry. eating a shit out of his anus. Yeah, <laughs> that I was say, a, lie. a true story. And his balls never got caught in a in a it's, sunbed. It's not true. It's just a dream, <laughs> a dream that I want to. Those achieve things one day. never happen. The sunbed thing that didn't happen. You and think the, the, did you the think pig, pig thing never happened? No. Sometimes you I'm on stage, the pig some of the stuff I say is like lies. I, I've lost faith in you, bro. <laughs> I'm, I'm impressed every, that you had faith in me. Every joke I tell is the truth. I'm trying to think. It has an element my... of truth in it. Has, oh, yeah, no, they've got elements of truth oh, in them. But... I never told you about the cat. Yeah, here we go. How long is this video? Uh, four minutes. Oh, it's too long. long. Oh, just tell me the punchline. Yeah, I can tell it fast. Yeah, go, just tell the punchline. The punch. Let's get to the bit. Oh, punchlines, no setups. Yeah. So, like, basically, this guy's driving along. Uh, yeah. Cat runs out in front of him. He hits the cat. It's like, ba-dunk. And uh, so he gets out, and the cat's, like, there at the side of the road, all, like, oh, totally screwed, like, just shaking and stuff. He's, oh, my God. So he goes back to the car, gets a hammer, go back, goes back to the cat, uh, kills the cat. This woman comes out of the house, like, you know, covered in flour and stuff. She's been cooking. And she's, like, oh, my God, what have you done? You've killed my cat. And the guy's, like, no, I'm so, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, I, I ran over it, ran out in front, I, I ran over it, and it was lying there, it was in pain, I had to do it, I had to kill it. And the woman's like, oh, this is, this is terrible. And then the neighbour comes out, and he's a police officer. The police officer comes out, and he's like, well, what's going on here? And the guy's like, look, I, I ran over this cat, I had to uh, kill it because it was in agony, and, um, you know, I'm, I'm really sorry. And the police officer's well, okay, let's just, uh, you know, check things. And he, uh, he goes to the uh, car, looks under the car, and uh, the cat's under the car. <laughs> <laughs> so what he's did he kill He then? killed another cat. Oh, my God, fucking. Like <laughs> <laughs> he killed, he killed another cat that's just lying there, like lying there, like uh, you know, doing a. Uh, I got a new joke about. Like, hang, on, hang on, hang on. So why why was that cat doing that thing? It was just lying there. He just <laughs> saw a dead a cat lying there, and he just smashed the cat in the head with a hammer. Yeah, killed it. No, he saw it like there was a cat there. It's like you know. But why were there chicken. two cats? Yeah, why was yeah why would some one... people got two cats? No, Jesus but no, 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 no. That's Christ. not an issue. Why would one cat just be randomly doing that? I don't know. I don't know if it was shaking. It might have just been lying there, and he just. I, I think it was shaking. There's a better story than yeah, that. That don't make sense. That this, don't this this guy, <laughs> this kid is on 4chan. <laughs> one of the guys complaining. No, this kid on 4chan. He he he. Like ran over a possum or something. He hit a possum, and the possum was like dying, but it wasn't dead. So he's like, "Oh man!" And he started battering to kill this possum to death. And he just, and every time it kept on twitching, he just battered this possum to death. And then he realised there's the expression "playing possum," as in pretending to be dead. <laughs> so the possum was pretending to be dead, and he just killed the possum <laughs> for real. Wait, what? It's not a joke. So like, so but he thought the possum was two cats. <laughs> Wait, he thought the possum was... He basically, he th he saw a possum off the tree or something, fallen out. I thought, oh, that possum's dead. But then he saw it move, so he thought, oh, I better kill it, euthanize this possum. Right. So he started battering it with a hammer. Then it occurred to him the expression, playing possum. Their defense mechanism is to pretend to be dead. Yeah. So he's pretending to be dead, and then this guy killed the possum. Right, yeah, yeah. It's not a joke. It's yeah. Just it's just hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I couldn't paint it off if I had to sit through four minutes of that joke. Yeah. No, it's a funny joke. It's a uh, funny joke. You, you, I think you ruined it by saying that. I, the, I was telling it in like 20 seconds. That the cat I, was 
that the cat was shaking. at the side door. Let's listen to the yeah. full thing, though. Oh, no, Let's listen to the full thing, because I'm it's, sure he says it's that. Not, it's, not, it's not really. I'm sure he says that. Uh, do you want to say, but in did Australia, I tell you? In did Australia, I tell you about the... Uh, when like we ran over it, we didn't run run over it. Uh, it was in Dominica, so um, that's in the Caribbean. It's a tiny wee island, not the Dominican Republic, just Dominica. But uh, we're in this little minivan, and it like just coming back, and uh, the minivan like screeched screeched to a halt. And um, there's this sort of possum thing in the like road in front of us, and its eyes it's like transfixed in the headlights. So this guy gets out the mini minibus. And like runs around behind this thing, grabs it by the tail, and just whacks Aye. it really hard off the <laughs> off the uh, street, and then like does it a few times, and then they just stuff it. And the, me and my ex girlfriend were sitting up the back in this minibus, and they just stuff it under our seat. And I'm just wait, man, this thing's just been knocked out. I'm just waiting for it to like come back to life and start clawing at our ankles and stuff. It's not a possum though. <laughs> it's some kind of possum type like possums thing. and yeah, it's, it was some like that with big long tail. It was we might big. actually need Mongoose. to edit it. Mm, it was bigger than a mongoose, I think. Oh look, yeah, it could possibly it be a mongoose. It had possible. a long no, tail. Possums. Had a. Um, I've got a photo of it somewhere. Uh, uh, th there was this groundsman at my primary school, secondary school, yeah. and he caught a dove. Caught a dove, and he told one of the students, "Yo, I bet you ten, ten dollars I could bite his head off." <laughs> and, what? And the guy goes, at a yeah. primary school. At uh, a secondary school. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you ten dollars I can bite its head off. And the guy's go, okay, cool. And the guy just bites its head off. <laughs> ah, but allow just allow me to allow me to tell you. Yeah. Well, your friend got your friend unfortunately got robbed because it's a it's a very common magic trick to take the head off a dove. What? Because the dove's head, if you Pull it like that. Well, it's not going to come. But they tuck it underneath their. They can tuck it underneath oh, no, no, their no, wing. No, 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 no. He, he bit the head off. <laughs> and was chewing it. And was chewing it. Yeah, yeah. Why would you chew it as well? <laughs> He's chewing it. Like it's all fucking feathers and beaks and stuff. Yeah, yeah, That'd be yeah. horrible. Have you seen yeah. in Australia yeah. where they Something basically like... they hunt household cats? Oh uh, yeah. What? So like, the in, thing. in Australia, basically, there's all of these people like cats have been released into the wild and they just go mental eating the whole wildlife in the bush. Yeah, the wildlife no, aren't used to it. They're not ready for it because they'll nest on the ground and stuff. There's no natural uh, uh, sort of predators for them. Apart from so, man. Apart, so basically, um, you're allowed to just go and kill all these cats, but people love cats on the internet and they just go mental because oh yeah of course all of these cats are just they just look like tabby cats that yeah. <laughs> all these psychos just look at these guys with their Full full camo and just just killing them with bows and arrows. Um, while we're on Australia, this is not really part of our podcast, but this week I read about the Colt family, uh, the biggest incest case in Australia ever. Uh, creepy pics reveal life inside. So they were like, the brother went out with his sister, and they had sex with their daughters. The Colt family. Google the Colt family. Colt C O L T. Yeah. And what happened? Well, they're all inbred, like the hills have eyes. In Australia? Yeah, in Australia. Incest. And they go from one state to another and they keep on getting kicked out of the states. Why do they get kicked out? Well, because people realise that they're... Other. Yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm <laughs> guessing. <laughs> and they get chased out. The cult family. Just for our listeners, if you want to read I mean, up about incest. Is it's, this them? Yeah. I mean, there's, look at the family tree left. No, that's not them. <laughs> the, I, don't think yeah, that's should, them. I don't think we should that's, be looking at pictures of children on... <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, anyway. It was interesting. The Colt family. Great story, Darius. The, yeah. Maybe maybe Vittorio is his final job as editor. We'll actually have to do some editing of this <laughs> podcast. Actually take some bits down. I think it's all right. I think it's a good uh, incest family kids. No. What about the was... Winston Churchill thing? Oh, that the was shame. Mad. That was mad. As a resident GB news. Should, um, we, should we go into that bit? I'm on there like four. Yeah. Four times a week, but this this was straight. I mean, I how much they paying you? I'm, I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> yeah. How much you get per episode? Yeah, that's the same as how much they paying me. <laughs> 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 yeah, but how much did you get? <laughs> okay, stop. We'll because we're going. Here he is. So this is uh, this this is any um, any white man over the age of about seventy five to be honest. <laughs> no, this is uh, Winston Churchill per that, impersonator. But this is such a weird. Play, I haven't actually seen this. I haven't seen this either. Say, oh, God, if 
Churchill were in charge, mm. if Churchill did that, <laughs> why do you think there is still so much admiration for you nowadays? I, I, I think probably uh, because uh, I was the right man at the right moment. I don't think I could probably uh, survive in the current uh, climate, um, although one would give it a go, of course. It's interesting, though, isn't it, when we, when we talk about the, the current climate, and it seems quite brutal. I mean, you yourself were were pushed out after all your success. They, they might oh, interview him like... In fact, this is GB yeah, News, that, that nice GB news, news fan that, that fiction. That what the fuck is... <laughs> yeah, why, why is he talking like he's... Winston, like, does he know like, he's <laughs> not Winston <laughs> Churchill? Yeah, yeah. Like, what are they doing? <laughs> <laughs> he's saying, like, I... Uh, I, yeah. Yeah, but this is GB that News is fan fiction, so, man. Like, I, was, I was having a discussion uh, about GB News uh, the other day, and uh, it's listed, it's not listed as a news channel, it's listed as a lifestyle channel. Right. So is this them, is this just kind of like fan fiction, fantasy role play? Well, I <laughs> guess, I mean, a lot of the stuff we do, like... Um, it's, it's kind of I'd, entertainment. I'd, Rather in, than just news. And the shows I do, we don't have the budget to get in uh, impersonator. But uh, if, <laughs> to, if to we get, did, to we get in the real Churchill. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like we do, like I do headliners, so that's like a comedy show, eleven till midnight, and that's but, that's actually really fun. But whoever okayed like, this, like going through the news headlines, as I, I wanted to, I'd like to see GB News do well, thrive, so it's another a, a voice. But putting stuff like that out is just like playing in. To all, like, whoever said okay to that segment <laughs> needs to be fired. Because now they've just left themselves open to the most amount of ridicule of that channel. Like, you, how do you... Yeah, but so what? I why, think, why, why, why has he got a red cooler next to him as that, well? Those are the, 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 what is it, the notes or something like that. The but, but GB News, you want to be taken a little bit seriously. This, how yeah, but they're, they're, all, they're getting Leo on. All TV yeah, shows. Yeah, but this isn't a TV show. This is like the BBC News interviewing... Vipin, um, Winston Churchill in person. Yeah, but they, like, like, they do have stuff like this oh, on yeah. other on other channels. It's just what, you know, so they've got um, like what uh, I saw. There was the, this there's a Lionel Richie impersonator pretending he was the real Lionel Richie on BBC Good Morning. Is this another Let's Darius play. moment? <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah. A, Can we stop a, lying to each a other? Very great assistance during the war, uh, the war cabinet was a uh, true cabinet government um, because it, it, it reflected all sorts of political opinions. Yeah. But he don't even look like Churchill. We That's the other thing. Yeah, he's too fat. And why are there peaches on the desk? Why is there fruit? <laughs> it's breakfast or something, probably. <laughs> okay. They have croissant and stuff. You can't eat them, though. They're like, I think they've been sprayed with something and they're like hard. Yeah, the, the, the techniques yeah, of food science. To this very day, so much so that you still have to have uh, a private detective oh, following yes. you around. Um, very, very definitely. Yes. Wherever you go, you oh. have to have your entourage with you, don't at, you? At, at. Look at this cunt. Man, this reminds me of that <laughs> President Obonjo <laughs> thing where Win Winston was... Uh, <laughs> is it Winston? Win yeah, Win you know the video I'm talking about? Oh, yeah, that was... Yeah. What are you talking about? There's a video. Ooh. Google President Obonjo, like, coming to the thing. It is got... President um, Obonjo coming to the thing. Yeah, is that what it's called? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just Google exactly, <laughs> put President Obonjo <laughs> coming to the thing, and I want to see it. What is it? Is Your vocabulary is, like, about 12 words. <laughs> yeah. Coming to the thing. <laughs> it will come up. President Obonjo coming to the thing. President Obonjo. That's my guy. Go on to the videos. My life. And we're back in. <laughs> oh, I've just found it quite quickly. Oh, that is so fast. Yes. But uh, even though internet. I've now got a beard. <laughs> <laughs> and I've transitioned. <laughs> I'm not sure what to. Palace with this president of Latvia Republic paid a state visit to the United Kingdom. The president stayed at Buckingham Palace with his six wives and his Mazungu personal guards. This was President Obanjo's first official overseas visit and expressed his excitement as he emerged at the <laughs> tube station. Yeah. During the president met up with Saudi Arabia's Minister of Fraud and a number of his subjects <laughs> living in the UK and generously gave out money. What kind of house are you? You're, you're, you're a big house. house are ten. Is that real money? 
No, it's, it's the money he printed and annoyed everyone at the fringe. The what was the, what was it? He printed money with his face on that looked ostensibly from far away like money. So everyone was getting their buckets and people were putting in notes in there like, yeah. we're so happy. Uh, and it's got a bunch of face on it. It's like, you son of a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> that is hilarious. You motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> just winding up comedians. That's the worst thing to do at the fringe when there's like. So why did we spend ages it. finding that clip? That was because just... I said it, I said they looked that guy in the back from from the Winston Churchill guy looked like like uh, Wilson. No, he didn't. Well, I'm gonna tell that joke about the cats again. <laughs> <laughs> um, why did that not look quite good? It was filmed well, but why did it look kind of hard, jerky? Did, not jerky, like the actual footage didn't. Do you think they used a the proper camera for that or an iPhone? Uh, I'm not sure, but like also, I mean, it's been on. It's it's playing press through and, something on Twitter and then, and then through this. No, but like the actual cam, like you know, when you watch a film, it's kind it's, of it's not cinematic. It's color graded, yeah. That's so, not, yeah. not clearly not color graded. So like and it's all touched up and all that. A stuff. phone will just go right. Cool. What's gonna like? They've got like an algorithm in there to go right. Generally, what is the best way to get this to look? Mm. Like, it look, look quite like. nice. And that kind of looks a bit like real life. Whereas if you want to have uh, like that, that actual start could have been the start to a BBC Three show or something. What? Like, no. Like a BBC Three comedy show. Like that little first, like he's making his first official state visit. The, the voiceover was good, but it just looked like the way the camera. And was. if you want it cinematic, you got filming um, twenty four. Sorry, you're saying yes. this? Yeah, not with not when they've used <laughs> with, Times with, New Roman as their default. Man, font. you deserve <laughs> to not be your TV license because you're obviously <laughs> not not watching the BBC. If you think this is. What no, but pl out? play the big, play the beginning, play the beginning. I'm saying. His Excellency, Mr. Abunjo, President of Latvia Republic, paid a state. It sounds like it's recorded in a toilet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Did, if they, it, put, if did they, they put tissue paper down? <laughs> <laughs> Did they put the tissue paper around? But like the, the camera cuts. The camera. I'm talking about the quick, <laughs> the quick camera cuts are like quite good. They right. keep you kind of focused as he does the as he does the voiceover. Like there, what, I think it's quite good. What they had two iPhones. Yeah, <laughs> that's amazing. That's incredible. They could have just used the same <laughs> iPhone and just gone back down the steps <laughs> and not come out the station. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was great. It was funny because Obanjo said something funny when it, he was trying to change the money or some shit. Oh uh, yeah. yeah, it was funny, man. That's yeah. good. Yeah. Oh, but Obanjo called me today randomly. Today, what did yeah. he say? He said, funny, "Can man. you do a gig?" Um, I said, "I can't do a gig because I'm busy." The How much? <laughs> well, I couldn't do it anyway. But then the money wouldn't have been within my remit. Right. Um, now too much, too too big for that kind it of. Didn't reach thirty pounds. <laughs> <laughs> my my my, my thing wasn't quite to 40 quantum pounds. level. Quantum leopard five pound. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. it's technically a paid gig. So, because you'll receive five pounds, therefore you must do exactly as I say. Oh man, the email he sent to that lassie. Somebody showed me an email he sent to this lassie, and it was like so, like sort of like he was lording it over her. And then he's all like, "Oh, yeah, misogyny bad, and all this sort of stuff." And it's like power, power structures, systemic structures are bad. And then he's like doing all that, man. It just shows all this woke stuff is bullshit. Power, like that guy, like that Mason, ahead, man. You, you get wrong people power, and they just go crazy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, they're, they're, that's what they're saying. They're saying weak people. People who when they get power that then that's why everything's going because we've got such a weak society now yeah. no one's got integrity and it's because they can outsource any like so the people like Trudeau he, he he's outsourcing all the, the actual violence to the police or the army right he doesn't have to do it himself so it's weak people at the top but when they come across then they they it will all collapse but anyway when they I don't come know. across it will all collapse um, my, my, <laughs> 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 that ADHD medication is running out. Oh, I didn't take. <laughs> that. Oh, can I have some more? Uh, no, I, it's no. You still up? When we're not allowed. Can to I have Mooch? Can I have your ones? I didn't give out my prescription what, you drugs. Took it, Leo? Yeah. Uh, what it do for you? Oh, not from me. Did my taxes in about fucking thirty minutes. <laughs> was it man. Good? That's amazing. Is it good? Really? Oh, I've definitely got ADHD. <laughs> <laughs> the only time in my life I've ever been able to sit still and do some. It was amazing. Why did you go? I haven't done my taxes yet. Because some I, of this stuff. Yeah, yeah. and I even I've done my. Maybe I the deadline I've... was yesterday. Huh? Well, I think they've got an extended date. Yeah, I send it to February twenty eighth. Even apparently. I've done my taxes. That's how good you know it is. Bring one did you have me, man? Did I... you have to do anything to get it extended? 
No. No, they I, just, I, I just you, you just heard. didn't do it. I just heard. Something. It's true, actually. I read that, but I thought I'm gonna do it. Yeah, just and in I case there's always some it. fucking thing with these things. And I couldn't believe what the grants are like. Oh, you got to pay your grant back. Yeah, they stuff. tax us on the grants. They tax us on the grants. It's like don't give us a grant and then take it back. It's like we, oh, we're giving you this money, but oh, oh, also you got to give us this money back. Yeah, take with one hand, and give with the other. Yeah, or the other way around. <laughs> <laughs> I take so with one hand. How do you record your expenses, Darius? So I may I I because I had my wonder drugs. I could open up an Excel spreadsheet. I taught myself how to actually use AutoSum. Then I just go through my bank and I just go. I look at all the in. So I go by month by month. Do you not I, need the receipts? No, because everything I pay everything on card now, which is actually kind of bad. And is that? But is that? Do they accept that? Do you send them receipts? Yeah, I, I send them laminated. I, I, they just believe what I say. I, so I just go through the month and I say, I go April. I look at all my in, incoming from comedy gigs. I tally it all up, take a little bit out, and then put, put extra in. And then I see the <laughs> then I see the outgoing. So I know like train line, that's a that's a journey. And you or, take off each of them. And no, no. So I've got so I've got April. I've got incoming, outgoing, and then you've got that. And then at the end, you just auto sum it, and I just you, and you find out what your total was. Mm. Do you pay an accountant? Hey, didn't you do? Yeah, to be yeah, fair, I only earn about hundred pound a year, so it's quite easy. Get an accountant now, yeah. Don't you have? You've got an accountant, yeah. We're getting one. Yeah. All right, yeah. Just I need to one. get an accountant as well. It's tax deductible. Also, for years I thought yeah. if someone was tax deductible, it was like basically free because it was no. coming. And it's not. It doesn't work like that. Oh wait. Ah, oh, it doesn't uh, work like well, that. Well, I've just found out I'm I've done gutted. my taxes wrong. What? That what? If something. So I've like ta I used to think if someone was tax deductible, it's just coming out of the money you'd pay for tax. Yeah. But it uh, doesn't. Basically, uh, you don't. The profit you pay, you don't pay tax on that money. So, oh, money. so you're only saving like if you say you're paying like forty percent tax or whatever, mm. you're only you're getting forty percent of it for free. Wait, wait, so if you buy a camera just for a hundred pounds, do you put that in your outgoing? Outgoings, yeah, yeah. And so then you, I buy a camera for much more money. I'm yeah, but I'm just keeping this easy because we're not very good at maths, right? So then, do you get that hundred pounds off your tax? Yeah, so that comes out. So you've got all your income, yeah. and then you got your expenses. So you take your expenses off your income. Mm -hmm. So my camera's an expense. So what, your camera, your camera's, your camera's slightly an expense. different because it will be a depreciating asset as well. I just put it in as I do the simple calculation and just put it out because there's yeah, that I thing where well. you can do the depreciating thing and also um, on cars get, and stuff. Get rid of things. Yeah, cars as well. I just do the mileage. So, so, yeah, I do that. What, 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 what? What do you do with with a camera? <laughs> so I just it's there as an expense. Yeah. So say I buy so you, put in the, you buy a camera for a hundred pounds. You put it in as a hundred pounds. Yeah. For the expense. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. you saying you do some simple thing. Yeah. yeah is, so that that's simple. simple. Like Mooch has got the complicated thing where it's like a depreciating the asset. So then it's year. like it's not. Um. You. It's, I don't know how that works. I don't know. The accountant told me. Right. Okay, but you put it in as a hundred pound and deduct it. Yeah. Uh, so what's this thing that about forty percent? So then, like, I used to think that because it's like going in, it's, it's like coming off my ink. It's like uh, uh, the camera is essentially free. It's not free. What? It's not free. So, you, because that money, if you'd put it in your income, you would have got some of it after tax. You would have got probably most of it after tax. So, you're getting like a camera for 40% off, basically. I mean, although it's a business thing, so it's not like you're getting it, but really, you are. This is. Yeah. Prime podding. <laughs> but this is, people need this financial information. This is not tax advice. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is the best podcast. What? I wonder why our podcast didn't do that great. What, when did people start oh. tuning out? Man, you know something else they, they did. Oh, shit. You know something else they did. No, this is interesting. The, Are um, we cutting this out? No, this is staying in. <laughs> if they've listened this far, they can listen to our tax advice. This is this should be the locals only <laughs> special content. We know, we'll get cancelled for we'll get cancelled by wrong. HMRC. Yeah. Th that, yeah. This will be this will be our Al Capone moment. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Oh, that was fine. But when you get the tax advice, you took them down. That was yeah. That was the that was the last straw. Oh, yeah, Should we do it's, one final story? Three speech, not three. Oh yeah, go on. What's, what's the with the children being they're they're teaching children um, age seven that they're uh, what about the races? trans swimmer? Oh yeah, there's the trans swimmer. Although well. we talk about trans and children all the time. We yeah. haven't mentioned nonsense, this, have we? Uh, well, we had James Ross. Yeah, <laughs> I accused him. Of, I alleged he was a paedophile. Yeah, I learned that from a lawyer. Children <laughs> age seven <laughs> <laughs> to be taught that they are not racially. That innocent. child's not seven. <laughs> <laughs> Right, it's no. a bit like Eddie Brimson. 
Well, in about Brighton and Hove City Council accused of indoctrinating children through five-year plan for anti-racist education system. Children as young as seven are told that they are not racially innocent because they view white at the top of the hierarchy as part of diversity training for teachers. And that's all we can How read because we refuse what? to pay <laughs> the subscription. What's the, what's the website? I will send you, I think it's the... So everyone, if you ever get a pay... If you ever hit a paywall... The site to go to is... How much money have we saved you on this yeah, podcast? The site to go we've to... told you how to do your taxes. Yeah. We've, <laughs> <laughs> we've given you the Spotify a APK. There's uh, not... It's, don't pay your I've TV it, license. It. It's and I, now we've got I, this. 12ft.io. Is that only for the Financial Times, though? It does it for everything. So go to 12ft.io and then put nice. any any paywalls site in there and you'll get it for free. Send me that Spotify nice. thing, Darius. Spotify it's in plus the group. plus, and it's in the. Oh, oh, I just revealed it to the Lucas. Oh, okay. Exclusive content. <laughs> oh, amazing! Uh, children's young seven are told they are not racially innocent uh, because they. Does this work on OnlyFans? Say, don't know if it's say any say any Spotify song just... in the world, and I'll play it. I don't care. Uh, children zero and seven told they're not racist because they view white at the top of the hierarchy as part of diversity training for teachers. Brighton and Hove City Council has been accused of indoctrinating children through its five-year plan for and it's repeating itself, which endorses critical race theory and white privilege, uh, contentious ideologies that have sparked protests. The council states that all teachers require the training, which will inform specific racial racial literary focused lessons for pupils. Man, this is just it's oh, so can mean. I just it's so you... mean to get like seven-year-olds and teach them that they're different instead of. Teach them you're the same and just well, play you, together and stuff. You know what? This has just reminded me. What what it's done now is the ADL, uh, Anti-Defamation League, have changed what it is to be racist. So now, racism formerly was uh, hatred towards another race or group. Now, Google ADL's, um, what it mean, ADL racism, they've changed the defamation to say racism is when only white people do it. There you go. By... <laughs> Specifies discrimination. So, so they've changed the actual definition that they give to the US government, and that's where the ADL work. So what now they're saying happening? only white people can be racist. I like that definition. <laughs> 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 it was a problem. Well, look, I'm, I'm one hundred and uh, twenty eight. Hands therapy. up, guilty. Uh, so, I mean, I, I, I think... The marginalization when, and the oppression of people of color. Let yeah, I yes. got I got because now people. all all organisations have an equality and diversity. I um, agree. Thing no, but they, what this man is saying. All organisations have got an equality and diversity unit that makes sure that the white man is held back and can't get a job. This so, as it should be. So now systemic racism <laughs> isn't is systemic against white people. They've got literal fucking government sanctioned bits in all organisations making sure. That I can't get a job. I just think... The anti-vaxxers the new black. <laughs> what? <laughs> the anti-vaxxers are being oppressed, not white people. Anti-vaxxers are being oppressed. That's right. The, the, the white man is still running free unless he's anti-vax. Can't say the yeah. B word. We, I think we've said it about a million times. What word? <laughs> the V word. Oh, medical intervention. Pagene. Pagene is med Medical intervention. Yeah. Um... I was going to say something. Should we like end that. on the happy trans swimmer? Yeah, let's yeah. end on What's nice the nice story. Uh, so there's a story. Basically, there's this trans swimmer. Oh, it's gone. Uh, it might be because the way I deleted the... Okay. I deleted all the crap they put at the end of the link, but maybe that was needed. <laughs> <laughs> you like, did a shortened hyperlink. Yeah. I thought if you deleted everything after the question mark, it would be fine. Uh, and yet it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Is this the one about the trans swimmer who's so, making yeah, the yeah. others? When it comes to the end, we're going to um, play us out on some Neil Young mooch. <laughs> yeah. No, because we'll, oh, we'll, get, we'll get taken off Spotify. We could sing it ourselves, though. That would yeah, I don't know oh, can we just play Neil Young music and put it up as a podcast? So he's still on Spotify. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite good. Yeah. Listen to the free speech Neil Young good episode. Podcast. The free um, Neil Young. Uh, is it the one that's considering a lawsuit? So basically, she's um, like her. So, so she's a, a transgender woman. She's in a swim team at some university or something. University and, U Penn, considering lawsuit. If record smash, you, you Penn, swimmer, Leah Thomas is. U Penn is short for you got a penis. <laughs> and so oh, she's had her funny. 
penis uh, out in the changing rooms and so some of the other swimmers are feeling uncomfortable. I think this is wonderful. I think this is really progressive. I think they should uh, have lots of Is this the one? With them. Um, and she's she's going to be in Sports Illustrated. Is she? Oh, uh, no, picture. this is a different thing where she's uh, she's not suppressing testosterone. Oh, is she not? I don't oh, know. wow. That's, uh, I'm not doing it anymore. Why is she not? Does she not have to? I don't know. Because she wants to win. Uh, yeah, this she's is a the, winner, baby. From Oh, for fuck's sake. Why she did use, you do use, that? Use, use 12-foot point IO. Um, if you're enjoying this podcast, please like and subscribe. Leave us a five-star review on iTunes. We're uncomfortable with it in our own locker room. Leah Thomas, you pen teammates tell us trans swimmer doesn't always cover up her male genitalia. <sighs> That's wrong. When changing their concerns, uh, uh, when changing and their concerns go ignored by their coach. Yeah, because they're transphobic. Yeah. Just accept that men are better at being women. These Males. Ma sorry, not men. Males are better at being women than women are. So does this person win? They, they, they win in a lot of things? Which one is? Doesn't look that aerodynamic. No, no. Is that lit? What, the... You th that's that's the one that they're talking about, Mooch. The right or the left? The one, oh, with, the the one with the cock. <laughs> the right or the left? <laughs> don't get that joke. Oh, yeah, because they both... They both goes. have cocks, guys. Yeah. I don't know if you noticed this. Oh, yeah. I, I just see a real woman. I'm not even getting involved in this. <laughs> there, there she is. I don't know. I think like it's great that transgender people are accepted and you know all the rest of it. But when it comes to sport, that's like a different thing. Man, you know what my thing on this is? Like, listen, if you're going to insist that you get to change and use the woman's changing room, at least have the respect to not show your dick. In fact, no one wants to see your dick. <laughs> and even in the men's change, I don't want to see your dick. I don't want to see your dick. If a dude comes into the changing room in the gym and he's taking his dick out, I'm like, I don't want to see your dick. Darius and does want to see his dick. I do want to see his dick. Well, it depends <laughs> on what kind. But, like, dick... Just hide your dick. <laughs> I mean, just keep your dick undercover. Yeah. No one wants to see your dick. I never Wherever get cheated. I never get like um, on oh, a shower oh. or anything at the gym because, like, man, if you're worried about like sitting on the sitting on a toilet, having oh, a shower, gym showers, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. Right. I'd rather go I, to a Turkish any, prison. Anybody having a shower in a gym without a flip savage. flops <laughs> is an absolute savage. You I mean, don't if, care you, about if you live nowhere near your <laughs> gym, just, why? You, <laughs> that, you got, that you got 20 minutes to go home, have yeah, your own yeah. like nice shower yeah, or like yeah, yeah. you shower. I showered in the gym. Filth, weather. Oh, in the nah, gym group mad. gyms, which I, are the, the weather spoons of gyms. <laughs> <laughs> and you press it, the button, it would turn off after five seconds because they didn't trust you. <laughs> you got to be mad. To, yeah. Oh, I had to lean my dick against it to keep it on. <laughs> <laughs> I put toilet paper on my feet. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's bad because it's full of germs. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't know that until the new science has come out. Yeah. <laughs> now I just got about a million verrucas. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, All right. That, we, should we leave him that long? Is he actually going to edit it? <laughs> <laughs> and on that, we struggled today, man. No, we did some good funny. bits, and then we struggled a bit. I what? think what well, the struggle is going to be editing it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I look forward to reading the comments saying they never edit. It. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why have you put a two-hour podcast out? It's actually not fucking... even that long. It's only an hour and eighteen. Oh uh, really? Don't worry, it, it just feels like two hours. <laughs> yeah. I I want to see that graph of when we start. You know, YouTube does a little graph of when people tune out. I want to see it when we get to tax. <laughs> when we get to tax. It will be like the Spotify Fucking stock market graph. Now, this yeah. will be like, you know, Dominic Frisbee's got all those like podcasts and things about Bitcoin. Yeah, and, it's like, interesting. Has financial experts. Well, now you've got tax experts tax talking about tax. Christ. It's good. Yeah. Well, it's a good uh, Maybe we should talk about a different financial thing every week. We should get a Bitcoin person in, though. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, get Thor. Thor Holt. Thor. Is that the one who keeps sending us Bitcoin or sending you Bitcoin? He, he says he wants to He wants to come on. He well, let's get him on, then. Well, let's, let's, I, keep, I put Ashton in the group. What about yeah, Dominic? I vote yeah for Thor. Okay, cool. Well, all right, yeah. You? Yeah. Yeah. How Thor. many followers yeah. has he got? What do you want to know about Bitcoin? Well, he's got just going to talk about Why well, is he is shit. he more established than is he Dominic? In NFTs and all he that. He doesn't kind need of to be in the full thing like cuz he's he'll be dialing in from Scotland so uh, uh, he'll uh, be on the screen. My mate, so we can have him on for like I, I don't want to sort of trump you but um my mate runs 
Coin Bureau, which is the number one YouTube channel, and he's like kind of. It's got I like, say we get that guy, his mate. He's not called Thor though. Thor. Yeah, yeah Thor. Guy. Also, Thor is a fun guy. Yeah, but it's a good. But, guy. but we can you, we can steal he's their audience. Awesome. Is this recording? Yeah, yeah. And still, oh. Thor. Thor's they, audience. They've got, What's the best crypto exchange? I mean, you literally have hundreds to choose got, from. Whoa, this guy is stripping with charisma. Is send your. I don't like how he's song though. He's got, yeah. Do you like that? Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! How has he got so many followers? Because he talks sense about crypto. Nah, we should get this guy on. This... I don't know if he'd come on. <laughs> well, fuck that guy, man. No, 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 and his no, no, fucking fictionalized no, no, money he's, doesn't he's, even he's, work. He's all, he, I also just did the podcast before with him hmm. in here. Was it good? We were talking about part four of Bitcoin. It's Was it better than this? Yeah. Well, <laughs> if you're into you Bitcoin, mean. yeah. Is that, it was actually quite interesting. What podcast. was he saying about Bitcoin? Uh, so it's the story of Bitcoin. Um, who is Satoshi Nakamoto? Apparently he's an Australian dude. No. He's Bajan. He's from Barbados. <laughs> he's, he, he might be British. I heard he's Scottish. He might Rihanna's be pregnant. That's news. Yeah, we didn't talk about yeah, Rihanna getting pregnant. Let's talk about Rihanna. Do you want to talk about yeah, Rihanna getting pregnant? Yeah. Who Let's pull out the pictures. Uh, who, which of you fucked her? <laughs> None of us. None she of kept us. calling me, but I was like, no. Not on that. She's she's with um ASAP Rocky, the guy who had the worst concert I've ever been to in my life. Really? Why? <laughs> it was so bad. Where so it's was like it? you know Where when people it? singing and they hold the mic to the crowd and get the crowd to sing rather yeah. than them sing it. He did that for every single song. Then he called people on stage to do some twerking. And British <laughs> girls don't really twerk like that. So it was a mess, absolute mess. Then he tried crowd surfing. <laughs> The guy literally this, sang like this. Sounds like when me and Darius trying to do kids shows. <laughs> <laughs> it was bad, man. I wanted my money back. It where was where was it? This was Brixton O2 Academy. Oh wow, yeah. it was bad, man. Rappers are often show. quite bad live. Yeah. Jeez. How much were tickets? Like 30, 30 40 quid. And right. what was the general vibe from the crowd? Did they seem to enjoy it all? Nah, they didn't. No one enjoyed. Did he realize it was a rubbish show? I I think he didn't care. I yeah. he was probably on drugs. Huh. Yeah. I didn't care because he was trying to crowd serve. He would sing two two words, two lines, and do like that. And then when he realized <laughs> the girls couldn't twerk, he was like, "Get the fuck off the stage!" <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was quite funny. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it was bad, man. Yeah, it was terrible. Brixton Academy. Brixton. Academy. That's a great yeah. venue as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, I've been there. That's like the top secret of music venues. Mm, it's a good venue. Yeah. Was it slanted? The strict. Yeah. 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 That's quite I saw Pixies there last time I was there. I saw. Um, I saw Kid Rock. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually not that surprised. On. I just pressed the blackout button for some so reason. So pull up pictures of Rihanna there quickly. I did! You ain't seen Kid Rock. We didn't speak about her. Yeah. There How you old go. were Pick you? Pick on one. Like 15. <laughs> really cool. One. There you go. Oh, okay, cool. She got a little pot belly and she's next to ASAP Rocky, who we've now established. Uh, it's is terrible it? life. Yeah. Uh, I'm not saying all of his concerts are bad, but that one was bad. Is it good? Do you like yeah. his stuff? Who was the guy who was doing all the pagan shit? What was his name? Oh, um... Trey, no. Travis, Travis Scott. Scott. Yeah. I've never heard of any of these people. That's a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Leo's big on the hip-hop scene. <laughs> well, our first show, Cypress Hill. That's quite good. Yeah. Are we going to call it a day? I think we've run out of steam. I I am tired. This is my third podcast. There's no oxygen in here. Listen, Mooch, you need to up your game. We can't be having you coming in here. We're not the fucking... We're number one. You're technically number three today. (laughs) Wow. (laughs) He means in numbers and viewership. We're number one, baby. Number one, thank you so much for listening to the Free Speech Podcast. If you haven't, like, subscribe, share, tell a friend. Oh, yeah, hang on. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, you guys got something to plug. The tobacco and, uh, factory. Tobacco factory. <laughs> no, hang on. 28th of January. <laughs> hang on. 8 p.m. Still hang 15 on. tickets hang left. Hang, hang on. <laughs> tobacco factory was great, but I'm coming up north now. Oh, so okay. in April, April 5th, 6th, and 7th, I'm doing my new show at The Stand. <laughs> nice. So that's Edinburgh, Glasgow, Newcastle. Man is coming in. And so I'm coming. Tickets. I'm coming to the Comedy Lounge in Dublin on April the first and second. And I'm coming to Glasgow Glee this weekend, uh, Friday and Saturday. Um, so if you're in Glasgow, come and watch. Gang, 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 gang. Good night. Bye. Bye. Bye.